It is estimated that manual handling accounts for 49% of all injuries in the nursery industry. If your employees are involved in manual handling, risk assessment is a responsibility that can make all the difference to their health and to your business. What is manual handling? Manual handling is any activity that involves lifting, lowering, pushing, pulling, carrying, moving, holding or restraining. It may also include stretching and bending, sustained and awkward postures and repetitive movements. Manual handling can result in musculoskeletal injuries to workers. Many injuries in the nursery industry can be avoided if employees know how to look after their backs and their bodies. The most effective way of preventing injury is to design a process or system of work so that the need for manual handling is eliminated or improved with mechanical aids. If this is not possible, then it is crucial to use lifting techniques which minimise the risk of physical injury. Some examples of potentially hazardous postures or movements are reaching with one or both hands above the head, kneeling, squatting, bending, jumping, sideways twisting and repeated reaching forward more than 30 centimetres from the body. Each work situation within the nursery, whether it's weeding, propagation or loading the nursery truck, has its own particular risks associated with it. In each circumstance, a risk assessment should be undertaken. When carrying out a risk assessment in relation to manual handling activities, you need to examine a number of factors. Is the task repetitive? Generally, repetitive is defined as more than twice per minute, continuously for more than one hour. Does the task require sustained or awkward postures and movements? Lifting or lowering, pushing, pulling or dragging. Does the task occur over a long duration? Long duration is considered to be more than four hours over a whole shift or continually for more than 60 minutes over time. Another consideration is whether the task involves high force. Mid to high force exertions done repetitively are extremely damaging. Also, we need to take into account whether environmental or individual factors increase the risk. Environmental factors could, for example, include heat and cold or the lighting level. Individual factors could include the skills and experience of the worker or if they've returned to work from an extended period of leave. In summary then, repetitive tasks, working postures, sustained force, high force and environmental conditions are the major things you need to consider when doing a risk assessment that's associated with manual handling. Once the manual handling risk has been identified, then steps should be taken to eliminate or reduce the risk. Risk control can be accomplished by elimination, redesign, mechanical aids and employee training. Where possible, jobs should be redesigned to prevent bending, twisting, reaching, pushing and pulling, lifting and carrying. Take a few breaks through each shift and give your body a chance to recover and stay fit and healthy. OK, let's take a look at some actual manual handling problems and their solutions. This propagation nursery identified the need to reduce manual handling in their potting up area and it installed a rolling conveyor system to great success. We implemented this equipment so that our potting team could work in a more efficient and safe manner. In doing so, this rolling system allows for less handling of heavy trays and also allows for more continuous process. Our workers are a lot happier and they're no longer bending over and we've increased productivity. One of the greatest risks to nursery workers is the manual handling involved in lifting pots and trays from the ground. To reduce that risk, and where possible eliminate that risk, 
This nursery has moved most things onto benching so that staff can work at waist level. This means that they're not constantly lifting pots and trays up and putting them down as they go through a growing stage in the production process. Check out the width of these benches. By working from either side, the staff don't have too far to stretch. The movable benches also save the individual lifting of the trays as they are prepared for sale. The least amount of lifting we do, the better. Our staff are really happy with this moving bench system and it's definitely reduced their risk of injury. So I would definitely encourage any other nursery that can to put in this kind of system. If businesses don't have the luxury of benches or if benches don't suit the plants, there are other systems of preventing back injury such as stools or upside down pots or maintaining correct bending techniques. At this nursery the manual handling risk was in the potting shed where staff put long hours into their work risking repetitive strain injury. Since we did the risk assessment at the potting machine we've been able to control the hazard by rotating the staff every 20 minutes and doing a few exercises. This should never happen. Remember, always bend from the knees, never bend your back, and use heavy lifting equipment for large jobs. Have trolleys available for smaller jobs, and call for help if you're uncomfortable with the lift. This nursery designed and built some rather innovative workstations. When I first started here, we used to go and sit on benches on the ground and bend over doing consolidating. Then we went up a level and then we had the benches that we used to lean over for a long period of time, which used to give you bad pains across your shoulders and your back. But as the years have gone by and it's improved, we now have these really good workstations. With these stations, instead of stooping forward, you can actually stand up straight, which gives you better posture and it's more comfortable. And with the shelf underneath, when you get tired, at least you can do your leg exercises and lift one leg up at a time. And also, it doesn't really matter on the height of the person. They are a perfect height for anyone who wants to use them. In summary, how can the risk of manual handling be removed or reduced? Well, as you've seen, you can improve the layout, design or flow of work patterns. Avoid repetitive handling. Make loads lighter, less bulky easier to grasp, remove obstructions, give staff training. By adopting and encouraging correct manual handling techniques, you'll help improve the quality of the working environment for nursery workers. That's your blooming lock. <laughs>